Let's continue our prayer tonight uh, with the. We are following Acts, no? adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. So tonight we will have uh, the reading in the book of Psalm uh, 136. We will recall the benefits we received uh, the past year. I, I believe you received benefits from the Lord. What are those blessings you received from the Lord? And begin to, we will recall tonight and we will give uh, time, allow our personal time to. Uh, there are many times we forget. That's why the word remember is for all of us. No? Inom dumi, inom dumi, uh, yung mga paalala. And so tonight, uh, for us to recall the benefits of the Lord, let's, uh, I will be reading Psalm 136, but I am inviting you to respond. So this is a responsive reading. Every verse, 26 verses. So I'd like the women to sing, His love endures forever. So that's the response of the women. Ready? Sing. His love endures forever. So remember that tune. The men will respond, uh, that, that will be for one, three, so odd numbers, no? Can you sing again? His love endures forever. That's the women. For the man, his love endures forever. Men, sing. His love endures forever. Even numbers, two, four, six. And the last verse, 26, everyone will sing. Ready, women and men? His love endures forever. Very good. You're a good choir. But we adore the Lord using that responsive singing. And I'll be reading beginning uh, verse 1. Now let's use this version. I think this is New International Version. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Women. His love endures forever. His love endures forever. So, okay? So, let's repeat. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Women. His love endures forever. Verse 2. Give thanks to the God of gods. Men. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, women. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, Who made the great lights. His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day. His love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night. His love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. And brought Israel out from among them. His love endures forever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm. His love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder. His love endures forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. His love endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness. His love endures forever. To him who struck down great kings. His love endures forever. And killed mighty kings. His love 
Sihon, king of the Amorites. And Og, king of Bashan. And gave their land as an inheritance. An inheritance to his servant Israel. He remembered us in our low state. And freed us from our enemies. He gives food to every creature. Give thanks to the God of heaven, everyone. His love endures forever. We sang to the Lord for his goodness. We sang to the Lord who saved Israel. That salvation history uh, in Psalm 136. I believe you have a story to tell how God has saved you and journeyed with you. Maybe you have also your Egypt and then God came to the rescue. You were once in bandage and he sent Moses, somebody like Moses. And then God showed miracles upon miracles in your life. And then the Lord brought you out and you, you had your miracles like the Red Sea. And then he brought you to the wilderness. He fed you with manna, miraculous things. You have your own version of that. And then he led you to the promised land. Do you think this is a promised land? This is one of the answers, but you also have your promised land. And so this evening, in silence, let's begin to thank God and praise Him for what He has done in your life. So let's have uh, this guide. Let's, you have five fingers, Diva, in one hand. So let's, let's begin with your relationship with God. Begin thanking. While your eyes are closed, I'll guide you. Thank God last year for how he has fed you with this word through, through your devotion, through your personal quiet time, whatever you call it, meditation. Thank the Lord for his relationship with you. Thank him for how he has spoken to you through circumstances, whatever, if you are a student, if you are a husband, a wife, a worker, a single person, woman, or man, thank Him for how He has spoken to you in, through His Word. Now thank Him for the answered prayers, how He answered your prayers. And thank Him for not answering that one prayer you had. Siguro kung answer ni Lord, no? It was, it was untimely or it was a disaster. So there are unanswered prayers for your good because the Father knows best. Number two, thank Him for your personal journey as a person. Where are you now? You succeeded in your last year's studies if you are a student. You had many plans and the Lord allowed you to succeed in those projects if you are a businessman, businesswoman. Thank Him for that. Thank Him for how you succeeded in your overcoming those temptations you had. Number three, thank Him for your church, the community of faith. That's the third one. Thank Him for the chance to volunteer. Whatever capacity, no, sa simbahan. Last year, Lord, thank You. Thank You that You brought me to this family of faith. Thank You because You allowed me to serve You with my time, talents, and treasure. Thank Him for that. The next, thank the Lord for your relationships, your friendships. Panginoon, maraming salamat sa friends. Yung iba, frenemies. Pwede ba yun? 
friends na naging enemy. Pray for reconciliation. Lord, restore relationships. Reconcile. Make me an ambassador of your reconciliation. Last but not the least, pray for your workmates. Kung saan ka man. No? Pray for them. And thank the Lord that you have these workmates. You have these workers in your business. You have co-workers in the ministry or sa mga students sa, sa inyo. You have friends, classmates who help you. Thank the Lord for them. Lord, our hearts are overflowing with thanksgiving because you are our God who saved us from, from the enemy, from the bondage of sin and Satan, the dragon. Thank you because you have given us new life. You brought us from darkness into the kingdom of light. And we are here. We are your children. We are people of God. We are royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. Lord, you have set us apart to serve you wherever we are. Last year, there might be challenges along the way. There might be um, obstacles. But you help us grow in our faith. You have, you've helped us grow, Lord, and overcome the obstacles. The tribulations were allowed to be there, personal life, because you, want us to, you wanted us to grow in our faith in you. And so we thank you, Lord, for sparing us even from all those miseries. And even for allowing us, Lord, to be miserable for some time because we held on to you. You let our, our faith increase and grow. Because that's our challenge to each one of us, Lord. You have little faith. You said it to your disciples. And we know you said it to us many times. And so God, help us to have faith and increase our faith in you. Thank you for all the lessons, personal. Thank you for all the people you have allowed us to journey. Thank you for your co-workers, for classmates, for friendships. Thank you, Lord, for making us succeed in whatever endeavor last year. And even for this sanctuary, Lord, this is an answer. We praise you because we have this place. You have used persons, Lord, people, our leaders in this church to make this thing possible. And we are here, Lord, in this prayer and fast. To give you thanks, Lord, for giving us material blessings. May we use this, Lord, for your glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. The writer to the Hebrews reminds us tonight in Hebrews chapter 4, 12 to... Let me begin with verse 14 to 16. Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. So this is an invitation to each one. Be confident. Maybe there are times you feel you are not worthy to get close to God. But you know Jesus has died for you. And Jesus can sympathize with you. He has been there. Yeah, but the one thing that he did not do is to sin. But he knows your struggle personally. I don't know your struggle personally, but the, no, the Lord knows you. The, no, the Lord sees your thoughts. The Lord knows your past. And so tonight, this is an invitation to draw near to the Lord, to the throne of grace. No? Trono sa gracia. 
It's, it's an open invitation. The best open door is the throne of God. It's always open for us because Jesus made it possible. So let us bring our personal prayer request to him. This is the time to bring to the Father whatever bothers you now. What is bothering you? What is that burden? No, may burden bawat isa. Ask him for favor in your endeavor. What is that one burden you have? Commit to the Lord this year. Lord, I'm burdened with small groups. Sige, pray mo. I'd like to be a small group leader. Pray mo. Pero medyo kulang man ako. I'm not equipped. I have that fear. Like Joshua, the Lord will tell you, be strong and courageous. What is that burden in your heart? Bring to the Lord. You know what's best with the throne of grace? Because we are approaching not just the King, but our Father. The King who is seated on the throne is God our Father. So ask Him. In Ephesians chapter 1, 15 to 20, I will guide you into this prayer because these are the, the words given by Paul. Actually, this is Paul's prayer for the Ephesians, the believers in Ephesus in the first century. Let's make this our personal prayer. Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called. His holy people who are rich, who's rich who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. So this will be our supplication. This is the last part of our prayer tonight. Number one, let's pray for the, these things to happen in our life. Number one, Pray for a strong faith. Can you pray for that? So I'll guide you. Just say, Lord, make my faith strong. Whatever test that will come my way this year. Look forward to this year. There will be trials, I'm sure. There will be temptations. There will be tribulations. Ask the Lord, help me stand, Lord. Strong faith. Make me strong in my faith whatever the storms that I will face individual no? everyone will face your own trial in life tribulation pray for strong faith number two let's pray for love for God's people especially here at BCI and even beyond our church let's pray Lord make me love my brothers and sisters more kung kulang last year Kung kulang yung concern ko sa kanila, kung sino man, this year make me more loving. Especially those who are in the household of God. Pray for opportunity to show your love to God's people. In concrete ways, di ba? Love is best expressed in action. Third, 
pray for spiritual wisdom and insight as you journey in 2024. Wisdom that comes from God and that's why it's spiritual wisdom. We need this insight. Kasi ang dami pong mga voices around us, no? all around us, we hear voices. If we are not full of wisdom and discernment, pwede po tayong magkamali. And so pray, spiritual wisdom, insight from God. Number four, pray for deeper knowledge of God. Ask God to, to have that desire to know Him through your daily walk with God as you meditate upon His Word. Ask God for thirst. Lord, help me thirst Your Word every day. Help me to love You and to love Your Word. The written Word and Jesus the living Word. Ask, ask God. deeper knowledge of God because God wants us to know Him. He is the God of revelation. Regardless of age, the was his soul, he was still, Samuel was still small. The Lord called him. And then Eli told him, if he calls you, you tell him, here I am. Maybe this year, God is calling you to do something. But you need to know Him more deeper. Next, pray for God's light to shine in your life. More of you, Lord, to shine in me. So think of yourself. Lord, less of me and more of you to shine in my life. In my workplace, in the government or the private sector in your endeavor as a student in the campus pray that you will shine because God is shining in your life number six pray that you will know the hope that we have in Jesus Christ sometimes we are hit with hopelessness no? Uh, you know despair and hopelessness is common why? Because people, uh, a psychologist told me, yung depression pala, ang punot dulo niyan is impatience. Because we are surrounded by instant, instant noodle, instant lahat. And we are a swipe generation. Swipe, swipe, swipe. We, if we don't like it, swipe. If we don't, pero sa church, hindi natin pwedeng swipe yung mga tao nandyan yan. Impatience lead to desperation and depression. And so, and even hopelessness. Kaya, Lord, help me to know your hope para hindi ako ma-impatient. Help me to be full of hope. The hope that we have in Jesus Christ. That Christians, hey, you are the most hopeful. <laughs> you are the most hopeful people in the world. Whatever circumstance in your life, we have hope in Christ. Let, let's pray for that. Lord, help me to know your hope. And lastly, pray to understand the incredible greatness of God's power. Yung message ni Pastor Mel, that I may know Jesus Christ and the power of His resurrection. This is it. Understanding the incredible power of God. The greatness of God's power. Pwede pala ma-understand ang greatness of God's power. Because this is Paul's prayer. And make it your prayer. Think of your life if you have strong faith this year. 
Think of your life if you have love for God's people this year. Think of your journey if you have spiritual wisdom and insight every day. Think of your life this year if you have deeper knowledge of God. Think of your life if God's light is shining upon you. Think of your life if the hope that we have in Jesus Christ is always inspiring you. And think of your life if you understand God's incredible greatness, the power of God. Think what what a blessing that would be for you, for your family, for this church. If every every item we prayed tonight will happen. I believe God will answer us because today we started our prayer and fasting overflow 2024. And so the Lord is pleased. Actually, God is smiling at us. Oh, I, I thank the Lord na hindi ako nakakain ng rice today. Pwede pala, no? I did not eat any carbohydrates. Pwede pala. Pero mahirap hindi uminom ng tubig. So, but you know, if the, the Lord was impressing me kanina while I was sitting, can you do it every quarter like this? Yeah, I, I will commit myself. Every quarter, every first week of the quarter, let's come and dedicate our personal lives, dedicate our church and the nation. Tatlo lang ito, di ba? Personal, bukas, the church, and then the third day, the nation. So I hope we will have that heart of prayer to the discipline of fasting. I, I read uh, last week, fasting is focusing on God. It's not diet, actually. Uh, the end result is talagang diliit ka. But we're not focusing on decreasing our weight, no. Our focus when we fast is God. And so I hope today you had that wonderful time with the Lord, beginning kanina until this time of prayer. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your people who have come tonight for the prayer and fast. This is day one. We know that you love each one, Lord. And so we started with ourselves because you said the greatest commandment is to love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is like it, to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And so, Lord, tonight we give this night praying for our lives, for our faith, Lord, journey this year to be stronger, to be deeper, our love for you to be deeper and more meaningful. Our love for our family, Lord, for our church, Lord, for the work that you have begun. May we continue, Lord, to journey with you with devotion and dedication in our lives. Lord, you heard our prayers tonight. We pray expectantly. Lord, we wait expectantly for the answers at the proper time. And so, God, thank you for listening to us tonight. Beginning, Lord, with, with this prayer in person, Lord, every person. Tomorrow, we will focus on the church. And on the third day, we will also plead for, for the nation, for the country, for the city. Because you are the God of cities. You are the God of nations. And so, God, thank you so much for this wonderful moment of being together may your name be lifted high because you are seated on the throne and thank you because that throne is open the door to your presence is open for all of us and that's the way we begin this year entering the open door of the throne of grace because jesus has made it possible so we praise you we thank you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.